Hi everyone, and welcome to your Daily Dose at Home. My name is Annie, and I'm the Chevron Open Minds Zoo School Coordinator here at the Calgary Zoo. So earlier today, you got to meet our three Chacoan peccaries, Jalapeno, Serrano, and Ancho. And you got to see getting some enrichment going on with them at their habitat. There actually are three kinds of peccaries in the world. There's the Chacoan peccaries, which we have. There's also collared peccaries and white-lipped peccaries. Something really neat about Chacoan peccaries is that when they were discovered, it was through fossils, and people thought that they were extinct until they turned up in the dry Peregrine Chaco region and people realized we still have Chico and peccaries. Now, I used to think peccaries were a kind of pig, but as we learned from Lauren in the Daily Dose at Home about the Red River hogs, they're actually very separate and very distantly related. So, we're going to talk today about how peccaries relate to the ecosystem that they're a part of. In fact, there are peccaries who live in the rainforest and they're referred to as ecosystem engineers. And that's because peccaries love to wallow like we saw with the Red River Hogs. And when they play and rest and sniff around in the ground, they make wallows that can actually hold water even after water in other areas dries up. So other species like frogs that live in the rainforest can have their life cycle taking place there and they've made an ecosystem. In general, peccaries are also really important for the ecosystem because they take part in seed dispersal. So a peccary might eat some seeds or get some stuck in their hair and then travel somewhere else. So, like Lauren talked about with our lemurs, when those seeds get pooped out, a plant can grow in a whole new area. Similarly, if they have a seed stuck to their hair and it drops somewhere else, that'll be a new spot for a plant to grow. So peccaries are really important when it comes to the health of the ecosystem. So those are some reasons that I think peccaries are really cool. But besides that, they're just adorable, don't you think? So for your at-home challenge today, we're challenging you to use some of the adaptations that you know peccaries have to try to design your own idea of a good enrichment activity for them. Think about that snout that they have to smell things, as well as their cool feet that can walk through and get by prickly vegetation, and their really strong sense of smell and using their scent as well. Can you think of a thing that would be good for them to enrich their lives? So thanks so much for tuning into your Daily Dose at Home, and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.